So yeah, this has been here for a while. So we have Delicious Starbreeze, other people. I was hoping there'd be fewer people if I waited as well. Uh Skylord, I'm running these. Is there danger? I can handle it. <laughs> I, I love this thistily. Uh Code of Steel Cloud. These these they all were in um well, they've been several places. They've been... Oh, come on! <laughs> you see them... They've been, I've seen them in... Okay, listen, Alliance, with your, your parrot. <laughs> listen. You need to go now. I'm, I'm, I have a stream. You need to go. <laughs> you, you keep getting into frame, and it's annoying. Um... Anyway, characters you see in uh, Cataclysm, actually. They're in Mount Hyjal. Um, here, here is uh, sorry, White Claw and Grimclaw, who you can pet. You can pet Grimclaw. You know, if you know, you know. Jared Shadow Song, next to his sister, my aunt. These are the two um, Jews of the Flame. I came back. Uh, Lysander, Starship. This is, they're part of the, um, and Arkanurin. They're part of the, uh, they're Elsar, they're but you see them in the, um, they have a big part in the uh, Heritage Campaign for Night Elves. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're probably. The Chandras. The Sentinels stand ready. <sighs> they're familiar to me. I play, I play, uh, <laughs> I know, but I can't remember all of them and where they're from. Um, Bloom Priestess Lasara, that's been a few things. So, after you complete Amir Drasil and, and Amir Drasil the tree um, is born into the real, not real world, not the, into Azeroth. Um, you meet up with um, Taronda by the raid entrance, really. And uh, she invites you to come here, which is Bellameth. This is the Azeroth version of where um, Amidrasil is. As opposed to near It's the same. It's gonna be confusing. Anyway. Uh we're gonna explore a little bit afterwards to see developments that have happened. But let's there's a party to attend. We are the children of Elun. The Mirdusil is everything we had hoped for. Let us properly honor its arrival. Now for night elves they get a little bit extra ceremony for this. Um they get to choose something uh, personal to dedicate to the ceremony. Do not lose faith. Amidrasil has been ushered into this world by the denizens of the dream. Now we must ensure its roots are bathed in the waters of the loon by creating a new moon well. So many of my people have brought us to this moment. Each should have a part in its dedication. Go, speak to the Calderai gathered here and see if they have offerings for the ceremony. Gather offerings from night elves in the central encampment. Now, we will fight if you are a night elf, future. you also get a chance, choice. But for now, just look for the ones that sparkle. Diller and Summer Moon. Um, yeah. You may remember her from BFA. I feel nothing. I have an offering. If it will be accepted. This Druid talisman once belonged to my beloved Farron. Some part of me knew that he was gone, of course. But as long as I carried this talisman, I carried the hope that we would be reunited. Hope gives us strength even in the darkest hours. May Amirja still continue to inspire us all. Thank you for your offering. We are all damned. I feel so bad for her. 
Here's my friend with the moon on his head. Hi. What do you ask of nature? Our people have suffered much, yet they have shown courage in the face of adversity time and again. Please take the soil from the dream grove as a reminder of the courage displayed when we fought back the nightmare from the dream not so long ago. We have never faltered and never will. May a still taste of that courage and grow stronger still. Thank you for your offer. Go with Cenarius' blessing. How may I help? My offering is the pendant of my beloved Anaya Dawnrunner. I have lost many close to me over my lifetime, but none so painful as my greatest love. I cannot be reunited with her here. Perhaps her spirit can live on. A beacon of love, the Calderai. If you did Darkshire quests on Alliance side, uh, there's a quest like this. Yeah. So, thank you for your offer. May the stars guide you. Grimclaw. Did I talk to them all? Oh, there's one more. I am honored. My offering is a tabard from Darnassus, a symbol of our people's devotion and our strength. It is one of the few things I was able to save from our home. I have many fond memories of passing tabards like this to Kels, the young and old alike. And of seeing his color draped proudly over our devoted allies as well. These memories should live on here with this moon well. Yeah, she's a, she was the quartermaster. Go in peace. I think. Our memories and our devotion shall stand firm. In her light, all truths are revealed. Have you collected all the offerings for the ceremony? Elune, light your way. Every Kaldari understands the grief and elation of a moment such as this. The pain we have endured and the hope we have for the future, these offerings are profound and appreciated. Heed the voice of Elune. With these offerings and water from the Well of Eternity, we have all we need. Speak with me when you are ready to begin the ritual. So we get Toronto Whisper in the, in the central encampment to begin the ritual. The Kaldori will endure. I'm ready to begin the ceremony. Our Children of the stars, it has been a long journey to this moment. Our people have fought, suffered, and sacrificed so much. And yet here, in the shade of Amidrasil's young boughs, we may at last begin to heal. Unto the souls who now watch over this sacred place, we offer our blessings. Symbols of dedication, strength, and love. Unto this moon well, we offer this precious vial, the last water saved from the temple of Darnassus. May they bathe Amirdrasil in Elune's radiance and bestow her blessings upon this place, Bel Amel, the arms of the goddess. In her embrace, May the Kaldori finally know peace. Elune Adore. Sorry, I play Night Elf. I'm emotional right now. <laughs> What would you ask of the Kaldori? 
A minute or so that lasts. It feels as if I have let go of a breath I did not realize I was holding. Don't worry. I cannot thank you enough for your aid. There is a time for patience and a time for action. At last, at long last, let us celebrate all that we have overcome and the hope that burns bright amongst those these gathered Keldera. Come, join the festivities. Serve tables at the celebration in Bellabeth. Do not lose faith. Quest. Let's go. There is a time for patience and a time for action. So now we're at the party. We want to make sure we visit everyone. Pet fluffer paw. Who's here? Okay. Hanu? You here to help? Hanu gives you a pleased nod and acknowledgement, then continues to so attentively to Nora. Watch yourself. Nora. Goodness, you're here too. I haven't seen this many folk in one place since last Tusk Moot. <laughs> it's a reference to the Ant Moot and, and Lord, of the Lord of the Rings. And such strange, unique creatures have come. My, my, my. Is that a fairy? And a harpy? And so many dragons. Oh, goodness. What could we learn from speaking with these folks? Why well, wonder how that fairy keeps herself afloat with wings that size? By known standards of flight. He continues for some time. <laughs> You're just fascinating. I can sense spirits all around us. They are joyous, hopeful. Brenda closes her eyes and smiles. What a wonderful feeling. With the wisdom of the spirits of the old and the hope of the young, I think this is a new beginning for us all. Until next we meet. Should have come. Who might you be? In our darkest moments, it can be difficult to relive. It's, be it's be difficult to believe that we will one day grow past our troubles. So too do the seeds grow in darkness of the soil. And look at what beauty blooms from them. The blubber wall! Farewell then, friend. Ah, uh, it's good to lay back for a bit. Have a drink, friend. Those cowardly primalists will soon be gone from Imbu. Our home reclaimed. Our people safe. This drink is sweet. Victory is sweeter. The blubber wall less. Oh. Now I have a story to tell. Scraps. Scraps and the kiddos are here. Little Tusker roar big. Me roar louder. Grah. Well, what are you? Hi. Hey. Nell kicks her legs back and forth. You know, Scraps and Riley all have whisper running off on adventuring together. They think they can leave me behind? Nell picks out her sleeve. I can't decide if I should tell Ma and Ta or follow them. Oh no. Next time, bring fish, please. If I climb on this table, I don't think I'll get in trouble because Scraps is up there and if he could do it, so can I. My parents said. Said not to climb a table, sometimes Ko does, and I'm a big brother, so I'm supposed to go her, and then we'll both be at the table. <laughs> Wanna fly kites later? Rowie. Whoa, it's you again! Alright, glances to see if the adults are watching, and then leans in close to whisper. Look, don't tell anyone, but Nilo and I are planning an adventure. We want to get. We want. To be a bit and short heroes like you. Scraps coming too, of course. With those claws and teeth, he'll be huge ants in the world. This Rowie glances at the adults again and then says, Don't worry, we'll start small. Just a little journey. To the Gleamlet, maybe. Uh, okay, bye. Mila quickly hushes up and turns away. Hi there. Who else? Who are we just talking about? Which kind of fish is the best? Definitely. Next time, bring fish, please. Fish, please. Alright. So... Her Tuscar. I'm not carrying any food just yet because I want to see everybody. Um, we'll we'll try to do a kind of spiral. I know there's a quest to do, but 
These are folks who are just dancing. Revelers. You'll notice odd things are floating about. Hey, here we go. Let's go talk to these folks. These fine folks. Welcome. Oh, it has been so long. Not that long. Sometimes I miss working in the Ruby Life Pool Gardens. We get to visit a, a lot of the whelps at the daycare. Oh, he's yeah, he's the one that helps up with the whelp daycare. Daycare. May the flights protect Aztec, you. Aztec, Keshki, and Okora are all wrangling their tasks so well. I know we're part of the same class, but I look up to each of them. Until we meet again. Ecologist Iska. Um, Ishka. I Ishka. Iska. Oh dear. I just hope someone said an ecological survey on how all this noise will affect the wildlife. These are the two um, wildlife experts on the Waking Shores. Uh, they have a quest there. Oh! Oh, I, I missed two people over there. Honor all dragons. And this is the one who's with, with them. It's been fun, but maybe we could finally get some work done with all the with all these adventurers out of our way. Waters nourish you. Oh, to think we'll be living at the feet of a garden of this scale. What a dream come true. These are the two that are working Until on the garden. we meet again. I, um, I just have something in my eye. Thinking about how safe all the creatures will be. Go with the aspects. So we gotta meet our two here. Beef and Wellington, together at last. Repetto board. <laughs> uh, we'll get with these. These are the um. Oh, these are the ones that were down in uh Zerlik. Some of them were Zerlik boss. Oh no, they're also the uh the ones that would drag a bank keep. But we'll go over here first. We have Agapanthus. This is the seat of their power. Meaning the Stuck's previous mentor has proved to be very enlightening. I'm not sure whether I'm learning more about how to care for Ruby Whelps or how to better instruct Lastek. Valdraken stands strong. Fears away from the Whelps is welcome and necessary. Very, very necessary. <laughs> I'm grateful to be working with promising young Whelp tenders like Lastek. Until we meet again. I guess I can talk to these folks. Um. He doesn't want to talk. Okay, I, okay, he's the... Okay, I know who you are. Bezenthus, he works the forge at the um, Obsidian Citadel. Uh, Atronosh Hellstone was involved in Forbidden Reach. Alowin, I don't remember where Alowin's from. Bellflame. Captain Drine. The city awaits. Who <laughs> should sound familiar. Uh, boss talks to you. Okay. Teller is here. So let's talk to boss. For the glory of the dragons. Thanks for all your help. The outcasts have been all smiles again, and I owe that to you. Honor all we'll just go up this way. See, once I feed them, it then goes into, like, you know, wrap things up mode. So, yes! Okay, so this is the centaur and the, um, the dryad that you can help get together. You can't talk to them, but they are here. Scout, Satun, and Arena. I don't know if you get to talk to them if you actually do the quest lines with them. I cannot go back and see. Unfortunately. Oh, hello. It's Aviana. Hi, Aviana. She won't talk to you. That's all right. Um, if this Ali Crow, though, she'll talk to you. Chaluna is here. Yes. Yes. You scratch my back, I'll claw yours. Oh, hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? I'm not surprised to see you here. You had a hand in everything, didn't you? You're the champion, after all. Keep your eyes on the skies. I'm not sure where she remembers me from. Possibly? Lead? I mean, where the, like, the trigger to, to have the dialogue say, oh, it's been a while. Um, it could be Legion, could be, uh, Kata. So. I forget if you had contact in, uh, Legion, if you weren't a druid. Lots of dancing night elves. I'll get, alright, let's, 
like I said, I'm trying to do a, a spiral and not wander off too much. So we have Corellian White Glot. Of course, Grimdor. What brings you here? Anaya's pendant was beginning to weigh on me, as though it were the last piece of her trapped here in Azeroth. It granted me courage through dark season. It was time to let go. Thank you for your part in the ceremony. I feel lighter than I have in some time. Good luck, friend. Oh, little kids are uh, running around. I think so. Oh, hello. Oh, Cadgar. All right. We have Cadgar. Drock Skull, Skull Stabber. Um, Noriko the All Remembering. So we've got our um, Kieran Tor representation. Cadgar. All right. Follow. There is magic everywhere. Gianna, the Blessed Ones. Ah, my friend. Have you some of the delight food they were offering? There's plenty of fish. I've got many myself. Gianna smiles proudly. Please, take care. Doc doesn't want to talk to me. All right. How are you, traveler? Nick the old remembering. As practitioners of magic, we are often we often witness we are often witness to the fantastical. This is ordinary as having our morning tea, but this this is truly extraordinary occasion. I will commit this to memory always, and to the historical rectus of Dalaran. Once we make our return, I'm not saying anything. Be cautious. This land is teeming with magic. Cadgar. There remains much to be done. Cadgar seems distracted. Perhaps it would be best to leave him to his thoughts. So always yeah. Happy to help. When I first encountered that at the party with Arleia, I was like, Cadgar? And this is months ago, so this is before any we knew anything about anything happens in the war within Alpha. I'm not saying what. Um But and I was like mm -hmm. Cadgar, why are you at my party being weird? So let's go. I don't think we've talked to. No, we haven't talked to our uh, Niffin friends. Ha! Could smell you a mile away. This party is amazing, Uplander. I never smelled a tree up close. This one's huge. Keep your nose clean, Mirit. I want you to know that we'll always be dig buddies, even if we go on other adventures. Just don't forget about me. I love forget you. I'll never forget you. Sorry, I needed to read that right. See you soon. We up, Blender. Sure know how to party. Now let me see if I can find that nice smelling friend of yours. Marantia sighs. I can't remember the last time I left Loam. I worry about my Niffin while I'm gone. But this is worth it. I bet I'll play. Bloody system, don't wander off alone. So. <laughs> okay, we spoke to them. Just zoom me out a little bit. We have our Ardenwield contingent. Can I speak to them? I don't know. I forget if Arleia was actually able to do so. She was um, with that covenant, so Matoria's not. She's with Bastion. For no other reason other than someone had to do Bastion. <laughs> I'm not serving food yet. Okay. And here we have Kadet, Kadethi, Trevisian, Azurathel, and Viridia. Where is Cinderthresh? Oh, Cinderthresh is being hidden beneath Viridia. Uh, because they're in, uh, 
visit form. Okay, so let's talk to our our Drathir friends. You call that a uniform? Listen. Hmm. I finally showed Verdia me. This version of me. You know what she did when she saw me? She gave me a hug. Can you believe it? A hug. With both arms and wings. I once watched her rip a riven stinger out of a soldier's chest with, without so much spatting an eye. I hope I could talk to her into sticking around. Let's get back to training. Skill Commander Osworth. Before stasis, I could not see a family or future beyond my own wear. And that was all I needed. Honor and duty meant me nothing without a cause to apply them to. These people and these dragons are more than I had the ability to dream of during my training. And I shall protect them to my very end. Fair skies and strong winds to you. Divisian. The cultures, do you, do you see how much food I have had since waking up. I have caught up on so much history. It's fascinating. I even got a job. A job! Not an assignment. You are looking at the newest diplomat for the alliance. For the alliance. Traveling. Talking to new people. Avoiding, op avoiding opening doors with ancient enemies behind them. That sort of thing. I'm so excited. Remain steadfast. I am grateful this conflict is over. I have a multitude of experience and research my talents are itching to dig into. Questions like, how a world tree can balance, uh, balance such a maelstrom effect like the loss of the will of eternity? We all want to know that quite the answer to that. Are the impact of titanic or void and void influences on the substrate of Azeroth would not just tear it to pieces? I hear there are some portals that lead to a world called Draenor. Fascinating place. I should visit there as part of my research. Fair skies and strong winds to you. See, I'm ending a video. Thanks to you, we have been able to recover our people, defeat an ancient foe, and bring a measure of peace to this part of the world. Now my real world can begin. Cinder Thresh would like me to go with him, but I've already seen too much, and not enough. This world is in pain, and our people are in pain. As long as there are people in need of healing and relief, I will be there to bring it. Take care of yourself. I suppose we should we should talk to uh well, I think we can only talk to um Oh keep it Um Scenarius, right? This cherished expression of the dream married with the with the dedication of the Calderai and the waters of eternity it is truly a blessed place. Oh, all right. Hope is not enough. My heart may be cold, but the sight of a Mirdisil, for a moment, I feel warm. I only wish Ferrum were here to see this. Stay a while and listen. So be it. My fate. As long as you hear, you could watch My it again. Curse. But still, it's okay. So here we have our. Oh, we've got. Oh, I remember you from Legion. My life is dedicated to destroying the Burning Legion. Many sacrifices have been made for this moment. We must not forget a single one. Archmage Warden Evanshade, okay. Don't give in to the power of the Legion. Not Chandra, so I wasn't talking done. to him. Oh, I guess I can't talk to him right now, but anyway. He was highborn. Um, 
he was you could find him in the Temple of the Moon before Cataclysm, trying to get an audience with uh Geronda. Much remains to be done. I may never fully understand why these Calderoi chose such a desperate path, but I want to try. They should be heard. None of our people should suffer. Commander Marilith. I remember him Keep from things. Sharp. Don't your remember what to do now. Silent. Speak freely. I can't talk to them now. I'm pretty sure I did we the quest, but I'm not 100% sure. Like, I don't know if having to do the quest determines if you can talk to them or not. Okay, before I go over there... I see you, Bane. I'll catch you in a bit. We're making our way over. Kagar being glum. So I believe we left over here. Onara doesn't talk to you. Why would you put this little thing here? This cute little cub that is killable? That's not right. Anyway, Kwanzu. Are you supposed to be here? Greetings, mighty champion. It seems we all have our new world tree. And Azeroth claims victory once again. All hell goodness, all had order. Kwanzu cocks his head sarcastically. In the end, it matters not who won. You have changed. The dream has changed. Azeroth has changed. All things must. Why are you called the Loa? I have met an enemy. This is the same. You still get you get these answers elsewhere. But why are you why are you a Turin? Why are you called a shaman? It's who you are. Loa is who I am. It's what I was called by my first devotees. What I have chosen to embrace. Gonzu swivels his great head around. And I is narrowing to a cheeky expression. Mystery is certainly delightful, isn't it? I love Kanzu so much. You've been frightfully predictable. I have met and aided many spirits of the wilds, and those that worship them. You, however, are new. Doesn't make doesn't that make this all the more exciting? An unfamiliar droplet in an ocean of ordinariness. Ordinary, or ordinariness, yes. The wild gods, the Olga Celestials, even the many low you are familiar with. Instead of perceiving me through the lens of what is known, consider an alternative. The tree of life is vast. Her crown reaching high and her roots sinking deep. The new Farsia. I've only seen a few of her many branches. So... I know you get similar dialogue for regardless of the character that you're on. Though trolls apparently do get something additional, which being that Kansu considers himself a lower of change, I need to bring one of my trolls in here. I just got one high enough level that I could probably do that with. So I do want to bring her through here for that the extra bit of dialogue. I just like, you know, substituting things like and you Farseer have only seen a few of her many branches. I do have the Farseer title from Legion. I wonder if that would have been in there otherwise. Um, but Farseer with have only seen a few of her many branches, it works really well, but I think that's just a, that's just a coincidence that that those two that, that Farseer works well in that sentence. It's having... Wait until extra... you see what happens next. I love Gonzu. Oh, look at his place in the roasted ram. So here we just have dancing Calderai. From Claws over there. Ursul is here along with Ade and Rats of Thunderclaw. Code of Steel Claws here. The sleepers have awakened. 
Roll bear mantle. Play a stone four. Four. Play a stone four. There's Cadgar being glum. Just checking to see who's here. All right. Here we have our. Uh... Oh! Sage Snow. Winterpelt champion. She does know Winterpelt. Uh, Sonova Snowden. What can I do for ya? It's been a trip, hasn't it, Matori? I was expecting an adventure when the expedition came a knocking. Don't get me wrong, but maybe next time we can do do it without all the fire. I've had me full of it for a while. Ah well. Adversary breeds prosperity. And the Winterpelt say as the Winterpelt say, or something to that effect anyway. See you see. That's cool. So I wonder if when I bring someone through who hasn't learned Winterpelt. Uh, maybe he doesn't say that, or maybe he says that, but, you know, it means a little less to you. Uh, tell you when Sharp Fizzle. Wow, someone's going to have to write this down for the historical purposes. I don't suppose you kept notes of everything we did. So yes, uh, here's your crew, Rupert the Gentleman Elemental. Um, uh, Dragon Soul Expedition crew, including Earthmender Narva, who... I, I just love how she her perspective on things is great. More people should have this perspective in the game. Um, so saved a new world tree. Brought it from the dream into the real world and defeated Farak. This is a normal day for you, isn't it? I'm glad to have you with us. So she has the unique perspective of like... <laughs> just walking around doing all this. You know, it's like, yeah, well, earlier today I defeated an old god. <laughs> because one does. So, I like that. Uh, and over here we have Renan and Thalen, Bo Smauger and Toddy and Lydia. Oh, um, didn't see you standing there. I never went and saw the other world. And what so the other world tree for it, you know? I thought it was just a tree. Lathos would have disagreed and told me more about the elves than I care to know. But now, seeing all these people here gathered around it, friends, he was right, and I miss him. So, Matari actually hasn't done the quest, I don't think. Um, I know Arleia's done it. Uh, which kind of answers the question I had, that if you didn't do certain quests, do you see the dialogue? Um, in Azure Span, there is an encampment, and there's a quest line involving Renan. So I think one of the first times you encounter Renan in the game, and he has he makes friends with a blood elf, and they differ in technique, in terms of how they want to excavate, and uh, Renan being obsessed with uh, uh, uh like, inventions and. And, uh, I forgot his name. And I'm looking around at Lathos being <laughs> uh, a little bit more practical. Um, and what happens is, is that Lathos does die. Um, and Renan's kind of, you know, he's clearly upset by it. But it's, it's good to hear him have that a little Bye. bit to say about it. <laughs> Or not. Uh, let's touch you, Thalen. Fire away! Thalen creams his neck to look at the other party guests. Do you think there's any night of architects here? Now that our is on Azeroth, I'm talking about building a new city. Can you imagine it? With all these roots and branches? And the new moon wheel? Well, I have scores of ideas already. May your flame burn bright. Please don't talk about flames in your world tree. <laughs> can't touch on the lady. I can't touch the toddy. See what you've got. Ooh. Wasn't that an adventure? You're proving every day why I'm glad to have you on my team, friend. Let's get moving. Plenty to be done. There we go. War of the team. Catalog of Corley. So much to capture. Maturi, have you seen the life of little cruisers running around? I'm interested. 
This world tree has drawn in so many majestic creatures. I'm going to have to run out of, I'm going to run out of film. I love the wildlife here. Can't look Wolfred. Adventure? Here's a photograph as my thanks from before. Wolfred hands you a landscape photo of waking shores. The number in the corner suggests it was not unique. That'll be worth triple what it is now in a few years. Better hold on to it. Beauty is in the eye of the lens. Wolf, I rem I had forgotten about Wolford in BFA that he has a he has a quest line in uh Drust. Uh just far. And uh taking pictures i forget if that's the first time he appears in the game or not i haven't bothered looking him up but i was like oh right that was you i remember you now in this quest i was over there doing something else uh jeb doesn't have any words for me even though i stole his underwear on our layout <laughs> hey jeb um pathfinder tatcha has nothing to say doc nanners has nothing to say Wait, did Rupert- Rupert? I didn't speak to Rupert. How could I not speak to Rupert? Matore, it's wonderful to see you. This is quite the smashing party, is it not? They even have shell sandwiches. It's very thoughtful. <laughs> Rupert better be in every expansion henceforth. That's all I'm saying. I love Rupert. Alright. I'm going to go down this way. I don't want to miss anybody before I start giving out food. Okay, actually, I will go up here. This is this group. <gasps> yes, it's Lula Straza. Happy duck. Let's be back up here. Oh, yes! Good. It's so gl I'm so happy to see um, Thomas finally get out from being imprisoned in the bench in Veldraken. Greetings. When you become really good at something, you forget how hard it was at first. Don't ever lose sight of where you came from. You're going to remember soon enough in the world within. Be careful. The war within, rather. Uh, these isles sure are magnificent. I can't wait to see what the Arson Consortium goes next. Okay, can't talk to Mara. That's Have fine. Lilistra can I talk to Lilith Strasza though? Yes! Don't worry, Happy Duck. I'm so much better at flying now. No way we hit a tree this huge. Aww. Welcome, friend. Lilistra. On behalf of the Arsenal awesome Consortium, thank you for your business. Hey, she doesn't want to talk to me. Alright. Dionysaka. Head clerk, Nimsy Spazzle Rock. Got it. Um. Ah, Velastrasis is over there. Talking with. Exadria. She's from. Uh, she's one of Civilian's crew. Oh, that's. Um, Asoria. Also Civilian's crew. Basculon. And. and... Rex and Vidmerstras. These folks have nothing to say, but let's talk to them. I did try to make a point of completing my quest for them. It's been a long time since I've had intentionally gone to such a large gathering. When you first met me, I do not think that I would have been able to. Now I find it less overwhelming. Varaxian nobles are in stress. Okay, okay, I'm enjoying myself. Thank you for everything, Matori. Is there something you need? Everyone was so spread out in Outland. Even in Chathrath, we wouldn't have had this many people close together. It's pretty good fun. After all that's happened, it's nice to see my kin finally be able to unwind. I enjoyed speaking with you. So it's an interesting world uh, as far as um, that the Black Dragonflight is concerned. I mean, just taking a moment to pause and think about it. Um... There's just a whole bunch of them now. And they're not corrupt, as far as we know. And just hanging out and doing things and not trying to destroy your face. And it, it's interesting. Because uh, we're here now in Dragonflight. And meanwhile, Cataclysm has just launched, which is the last expansion where you had to deal with, you know, basically tons and tons of Black Dragons as enemies. 
So just interesting little little extra thought. I have to also talk to the centaur, but we're gonna go here first. Tyvon! Such a good boy. Yes! Alright. And Jimmy. Celebration is a little loud, but I'm okay. Happy for everyone. Alright, let's go talk. What will you ask of the Kanamatra? We continue to honor the pact of friendship between our people and the dragons. And look how the world has been rewarded. Such natural splendor is truly a wondrous sight to behold. Why, even Onara herself has joined the celebration. None of this would have been possible without you. The daughters of Tira will always smile upon you, friend. So like, these are conversations I wonder if they come up. Though she's not... I don't know if you ever come get, back like, in one piece. more than, like, neutral status. Um, but I mean, we'll see. I know there are quest lines she hasn't done. She hasn't done a lot of side quests. She's done the main quest lines. What? Tamul! I've never been one for celebrations. I'd rather be on the hunt. Skatamul looks to the side. But I suppose if I'm going to celebrate, doing so with my favorite two foot isn't so bad. Oh, Tamu. We'll be back soon, sure. So have Nawa, Koya Wind Totem, Iron Hoof. These are the ones that came later with uh, Bane's party. Calm it's heart. good to see that they're Clear they're together. Vision. Boku, hey, my friend. The winds told me you'd be safe, and they were right. I want to thank you for what you've done to help my people. In case nobody told you already. Bless you. Stay safe. As Sansok signs, Okir vocalizes. Enjoying the feast, friend? The Shakar are proud to have supplied the game for the table. And prouder still of our, our courageous brethren. We have overcome great challenges once the dragons returned. Many thanks for your help. Many thanks for your help. Know that you will always be welcome at our fires and at our hunts, whenever they may be. It's good to see you again, friend. You basically, I think you sign. That's what happens. You cannot talk to Bastion. You extend your head to offer Bastion pets, but he stoically stays next to his comp. Bastion is currently working, and you should not pet service dogs on duty. Very important information. You are welcome at my fire. Okay, Good read that luck. already. Alright, so let me go up this way. We already spoke to them. We're gonna pet Tyvon again. Tyvon! Good boy. The best boy. Can't speak to anyone there. Goldrin won't speak to us. That's cool. We already spoke to Vrax and Vidas Dress. We have, okay, we have the blue dragon flight here. So let's see. We'll speak to. Let's speak to Zeros first. Oh, uh, hello there, stranger. Wow, I feel so lucky to see this. I hope Senegos is watching wherever he is now. Oh, man. I do have a... That's her axiom's breakable will. I had the Senegos toy up here Good for a bit. Good to see you. Uh, hello. What is it? This is truly magical time. To think that he only knew frost and snow for so long. There will be so much to study about the new tree. Stella goes Safe up. travels, my dear. The Azure Wing are still processing Grandfather's passing. But they were relieved that it was a moment he chose. I admit, I scarcely knew where to begin in leading them. I scarcely know to... But Caligos assures me I am more than capable. Grandfather told him as much. Thank you for everything, my friend. Should you have need of the Azure Wing, we will always be there. Lanagosa? Fair skies and strong winds. So many people, I hardly know what to say. I think for now I'll simply listen. It's good to hear the voices of friends again. 
Oh, head teacher Duragosa. She's the final boss of the Azure Vault of the um The Azure Archives. It was the Azure Archives. Uh, Azure uh the Academy. Alifar Academy. She's the final boys voice. Final boss. Uh and we can't talk to Emma Gosa. I wanted to talk to Emma Gosa. I should get back to it. Oh you can. You can. Emma goes to smile shyly. Thank you. Oh, Emmy. And of course, we've got a Zurigos. Ah, greetings and whatnot. I love a Zurigos. So many people, alive and well. Perhaps Indragos was right after all. Ah. My, look at the get time. The time. <laughs> Okay, we've got green dragonflight over here. We've got Nefarious. Um, not table. We have life awaits you. Being here with my friends and flight all around me, a new beginning awaits us. And finally, I feel at peace. Everything was worth it. Somnicus. He's got his flower. He's got the flower in his mane. I love that. Really? Okay. Garethus. All right. I was going to say, you can speak to me, Garethus. Do Garethus? you suppose we shall meet again? Son of the dream. Mirth of sun. Sometimes when I close my eyes, I can still feel the heat of Farak's flame. You may have seen the video. Um, hear his laughter. I know that he's gone, and there is nothing more to fear. Yet the memories are still so fresh in my mind. Has that ever happened to you? Well, sometimes... If I keep my focus on setting a Mirdrasil now that has bloomed into Azeroth, it will get better, perhaps. Poor Garethos. Please, come back soon. The Lithuia Dreamwalker. I Let's remain go. in service to the Green Dragonflight. Elder, Elder, is it Elder Branch? Onu. All right, here's our main players. We're gonna wait on them. That's our main team. That's Team A over there. General Torstraza, who is a Toran. Tora Straza. Okay. Um, Commander Lefanak. Oh, come on. You couldn't give him a new outfit. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's Commander Lefanak over there. Actually, Lefanak is, a. Uh, the Shrine man. Guard protect. Another battle hard won. Another victory for the people of Azeroth. For the Lifebinder. Brood of Alex Straza. Kandra Straz. This is one of her ah, kids. Hello. What a good wind stream lately. Uh, hello! Lord Andestras, keep flying high and may your drake guide you onward wherever you go, friend. And Major de Celestra. See you up there. We call the strong to protect the weak. Major de Celestra is secure and the facilities are plentiful. Let us rest our wings here, yes. Lifebinder be with you. Oh, and we got our bronzies here. And our infinite. Talk to Eternus first. There is more than one way to solve any problem. This is not how I envisioned things would turn out, but I cannot say I'm displeased with the results, mortal. I don't know. I don't... Inormu just seems sus to me. I don't know why. I think because his head is, like, just hidden in shade, but he won't talk to me, so... Question everything. Let's talk to Adanta Norma. So many books, so little time. The timeways have been so chaotic as of late. I know I could not sit idly by and remain with my research. I am pleased we have brought some order back to the timeways. Adanta Norma chuckles. I did not forget I would make friends. I did not foresee I would make friends such as you and Zira, but I am glad we will, and we will meet again in due time. I love Adanta Norma. 
Dante Dorma is the same voice actor as Caligus. Believe it or not. Is it that time already? Pitch down, of course. Um. See how Zerathel. We will Sarah for short. Time. Matorio, when I joined the Time Walkers, I never thought I'd be involved in the birth of a whole new world tree. Isn't this amazing? I'm no longer a recruit. I'm full Time Walker now. I couldn't have done it without your help. Thank you. So in case you forgot where she has, she has Del and, uh, and Dante Dormu uh, had a role. Um, and this, I believe, would be Sora Dormi, yes. Uh, when you went back in time to... Uh, when you went back to different periods, including Black Empire and uh, the uh, Murloc, as well off. That whole thing they were involved in. In case you forgot. Was it Sir dormy has got her old outfit back on, instead of her armor. What do you require? Sir Dormy smiles, eyes alight with wonder as she beholds a Midrasil. The time ways have been clouded, and so much has been uncertain, but here and now I can see clearly. This tree has a great future ahead of it. Sir Dormy's attention turns to you, as to you, Matori. For all you have done for my flight, you have my many thanks. Ponder what we discussed. Be cautious. Yes, I can help. Time is set in sand, not stone. Okay. You know where to find me. Cool. So what do we have here? We have, okay, over here we've got Bane and Myla and Jeronda and Jaina Thrall, Tess, and Lillian. We're going to wait on them a bit. Um, over here we have... Okay. But I don't want to touch you either. Uh, Saliri, Zentabra, where's Senkiki? There he is, Zenkiki. He's right next to me. Hey, Zenkiki. Talk to me. Zenkiki, I believe, and I may be misremembering this, but I remember there there are some quests you just remember. Um, Zenkiki, which was this is a cataclysm quest. It's the reason why I like cataclysm. This is one. It's a bunch of really good, fun quests in there. Um, Zenkiki was pretty much a druid who wasn't great, so you had to help him kind of. To help him out a bit. Um, but as you can see, he's doing okay now. That's Celestine of the Harvest. I know I recognize her. Um, or Druid or Druid Loti. Uh, Tabras and Kiki. Only Hamul will speak to me. May the winds guide you. I remember when the Tauren were first allowed to join the Cenarian Circle. Little did we know that there were far more druids in the world than just Shuhalo and Calderai. I believe this is the first we have all been able to gather under the banner of peace. We have much to learn from each other. Hmm. Oh. Nature is resilient. Okay. Here we have... I can speak to Felina Starrunner. Oh, yeah, let's see who I can speak to. The great outdoors. There'll be so many new plants and creatures to tend to. How will we ever manage? Hi. Selena Crunchy Leaves. I know my sister sounds like she's overwhelmed, but I can tell you she's the happiest I've ever seen. There is so much to look forward to. I don't see the dryad that I help make. Um. Oh. Okay, let's go to this table. We've got a uh, contingent. Lysander is there. Akunarin is there. My Red Light Song is there. Is My Red Light Song the, the paladin? 
Miara Knight song, I think, might be the paladin. I have to look it up. There's been a lot of why can't night elves be paladins when there technically is a paladin. Alright, so Mara Bladewing, General Whisperwind, Mara Starlight, Sentinel Cortez of Firebow, the Sender Starshade, Arcadent Starshade, and Maev. I can't speak to any of them? Well then, I guess not. <laughs> Alright, onward. Kritha! Go, oh, I haven't I didn't sell my stuff from uh Let me sell some of this. Sorry, Kritha. You're the unfortunate um Oh, that's from oh, that's from uh Shadowlands. I was just checking something. Nah. I'm holding on to all this stuff now because in the future Oh, one of those the Nylothan text. I'll deal with all that later. Crit is there. Apprentice Scrumpy. Hey, it's you! Apprentice Scrumpy hides his hands behind his back. Did Narika send you to check on us again? We're keeping tabs on the supply portal here for, for the chefs. Hard to get into trouble back here with all the delicious food. So, um, there was a quest in Azure Span involving these two of Lapira. Who are mage? Mage at it. May, uh, assistants. You've got my ear. Apprentice Tucky glances away from the list. Oh, it's you! Don't worry. I'm just making note of everything coming through the portal, you know, for Kieran tour purposes. If you want to grab something off the record, just let me know. <laughs> Take care of yourself. No one else will. <laughs> That's a little harsh truth there. We will not repeat our history. Okay, Come I'll worry about that in a moment. Scargo. Who's online? Anyone we could talk to? But we do have here uh, Rumi Straza and. Oh, come on, why can't I select? Ah, welcome, my friend. Morsel, Chef Morsel. And I am pleased to see you again. We have a new variety of recipes for our guests to enjoy. Please feel free to take a sample for yourself. I'm not touching any food. I'm going to talk to Let him. Let us now. hear your story. Canuck appears deep in thought as he considers the ingredients before him. Mm, a fish are here. Strange. The texture is so light and airy. Nothing at all like some good old eel, gu eel guts. Ha! I'll have to give it a try. New ingredients. means all sorts of new soup flavors to bring out. Be soup. careful out there. Soup. All right. Like we're winding down to the last few. All right. So to Bane. I am Bane, son of Kerr. It's a relief to see the Alliance and the Horde coming together for something that is not a battle. Our people on both sides. Been through enough. I agree. Chieftain. Mela! We are stronger together. We all want to see you together with Bane. I have not had the chance to speak to you, but I want to thank you for helping Bane. 
He has been through so much. He has been through much, and has weighed on him far more than he, we would ever admit. He would ever admit. That weight has been lifted somewhat, thanks to you. His journey is far from over, but you have helped him take the first few steps towards healing. So again, Remember another the Earth situation. Lessons. Wonder if that would be in there if you didn't do the Bane quest. Can't talk to Speak your mind. Princess Tess. Speak My to Lillian. Stay sharp. We haven't been welcomed with open arms. We haven't been attacked either. It's a start. Ah, Lillian. All right, Thrall. Keep your guard up. It's strange. The last time I remember all of us being united like this, we saw the destruction of the world tree at the at the end of it. This time, we see the birth of renewed hope. May the bonds we built today last longer. That's a callback to um, End of Warcraft 3. Well, the main one, not uh, the uh, the Frozen Throne was uh, the uh, expansion. But, um, yeah, it was Nordrassel. It's reference to Nordrassel. Okay, Taranda. Hi, Taranda. The goddess gives me strength. Oh, this is gonna do that weird thing. Oh god, I hope they fixed it. I hope they fixed it since the last time. Alex Straza was broken. Um, but okay, let's see how it goes. Taranda smiles gently. Elune smiles on us this day for the first time in what seems so long. It's as if I can breathe unimpeded. Thank you. Stay a while and listen. We will fight to protect our future. Do you ever think back to the time before the sun drain, Alexstrasza? When the world was whole? But we faltered from within. The world itself was rent asunder. Through thousands of years and unspeakable tragedies, the well of eternity, the legion at Nordrasil. Yet this precious tree, a Mirdrasil, has brought us together. And when I look upon the faces of those who have risen to its aid, both old and new, I see something returning that we had lost. Unity. Though there is much work to be done, I know we have the strength to face anything if we face it together. So Alexstrasza is still broken. <laughs> she still does. I don't know if she ever had voice acting or they just decided to go with it because they had it for Taronda, but they didn't have it for Alexstrasza. I don't know what happened there. But yeah, that was the uh, that was the issue. All right. Bronka. Okay, Jaina. Together, we are strong. Champion. It's good to see you again. It is good to see everyone. I spent many years searching for peace between the factions. Today, I feel as perhaps we have accomplished it. For now. I only hope this unity lasts. Stay a while and listen. Control your power. Or it... Well, old friend, it felt good to share a cause and fight side by side once more. <laughs> yes, it did. Like on Mount Hyjal, all those years ago. But thank the light. This world tree did not fall. Jaina, when a Mirdrasil took root on Azeroth, for a moment it was as if... Like there was... A voice? I heard it too. Oh, good. I didn't imagine it. So beautiful. Like a song. It seemed to be calling out to me. Could it be the voice of the world tree? I don't think so. It sounded far more ancient. I'm not sure how I know that. It's just a feeling. If we both heard it, felt it, maybe others did too. Perhaps. 
But let's leave that investigation for another day. Tonight, we celebrate our victory. All of us. Together. Together. Now, to get Nazoth earlier, and there was reference to uh, the song. Magni was definitely saying Azeroth, her song, so... But there's definitely something like, it's not Azeroth. Um, it's still up in the air. But now there are people hearing it, and this is your... You get your first little nod to that. Um, who else do we have? We spoke to everyone there. Before we talk to, uh, you go to the main table. I spoke to all of them. I speak to Lethanag. Anything to, to report? Yes. Protect your yes, allies. Yes, I definitely spoke to them. So, yeah, let's start here before we do the quests. Um, Alexstrasza? Embrace hope. It warms my heart to see a celebration of renewal rather than victory. I feel as if our kind, our kind is about to take wing for the first time. Not as five aspects, but as unified people. So much of this can be credited to you, my friend. Thank for all you. Thanks for all you have done. Safeguard all life. Isera seems distracted. Perhaps it would be best to leave her alone with her thoughts for now. Like Cadgar. Okay. Oh, people are putting, parking their mounts on top of people. You got anything for me, Nostromo? Night embrace you, mortal. It's a relief to see the time waves so clearly after so long. I am no longer afraid for my future, but the future of my flight. Chromie has reminded me- I forgot to talk to Chromie. Chromie has reminded me of what it means to steward the paths of time. Of course, she credits you for everything. I can see the truth in that as well. Okay, hold on. Keep that thought. Old. Keep that thought, Nosdormu. I forgot to talk to uh, Kromi. It's so nice to see you. There we go. The tree is safe, and so is Lord Nosdormu. And we have our aspects back. See? I knew it would all work out. Did I see the future? Kromi winks at you. Well, that would be telling. Go and enjoy the party, Matori. I'll be meeting again. Well, you'll see. <laughs> the time waves must okay. be preserved. Now we can go back. Emberthal. Let us begin. We have come a long way, Matori. The future still seems uncertain, but in a good way. I think. <laughs> Instead of orders, we have allies and friends. This world is not the world we left when we went into stasis. But in many ways, I think it is a world that we will embrace, that will embrace our people far more readily than the one we left behind. Vera? Serve with honor. It's strange. Your lifespan is but a blink of my eye. You did not hesitate to help me and offer your friendship. I do not know what to think of this, but if your kind is capable of so much, then perhaps. Even one as ancient as I self still has lessons to be learned. We have much to do. Before I talk to you two, um, this is the end, my it friend. It is good to see you. My flight, it still seems strange to call them mine, stands united because of you. We have a future because of you. We will live on because of you. Forgive me. I do not have the words to express the depth of our gratitude. You have secured the survival of my kind. Thank you. Aspects watch over you. And you are? <laughs> and you are? I don't know. Who, who am I supposed to <laughs> Champion. I had no idea how my return to Azeroth would be received. Truth be told, there was concern beneath my confidence. But I hardly let it show. You provided not only a welcome, but the means to establish a future for my flight. It was all I could have asked for. So much more. I am forever in your debt. Very well. We will meet again later. Right. You stand before the Black Prince. Ah, my friend. I should have known you'd be at the festivities. A word if you don't mind. I am admittedly young. 
but I feel my journey has already come so far, and yet so much still lies ahead of me. I thought being an aspect was my destiny, but you have helped me see is so much more than that. I do not know where this path will take me, but I hope that you will join me on, on the journey every now and again. What else is there? What, what, of course I won't. Until next time. Alright, so now we have Marithra and Caligos. Hello, champion. Hello. It seems a dream once again stands strong. Thanks to your aid, I do not know what we have done to deserve your favor time and again. But I am forever grateful for it. Thank you. A different enthusiasm. May your dreams be peaceful. I notice the festivities have drawn the attention of a few Spriggans from Ardenweald. They are curious creatures with interesting tastes. Their pranks have been more than disruptive. Please shoot them out so the celebration may continue in peace. Yes, Mirthra, I'll help you. Of course, it's Is going it to be time a... to go already. Of course, there'll be a reason to kill stuff. All right. Calic. How can I help? Oh, oh, upgrade. Mm. Oh, Matori, you are just the person I was looking for. I'm a little concerned about Cadgar. I don't think it's anything dire, but he doesn't seem to be enjoying himself like everybody else. He just seems distracted. I don't want to pry, but perhaps you should bring him a drink for me. He may open up to you. Bring Kedgar a drink in Belameth. You'll be able to choose one of these rewards. So we have to bring Kedgar a drink. Keep safe. Let's see if we could multitask with the... Uh... I haven't served food yet. I haven't served food. Oh, Chef Butterfingers, hey! Money, hey, Maturi, great to see you again. You should try the escargot. It's a little sudden I developed all the uh, caverns. Chef Butterfingers raises his head high. Oh, it brings a smell to your face. There were a lot of snails in Tyrolic like Caverns. Um, I'll touch food later. I know I have to go to Kritha for a drink, so let's go to Kritha. I'd like a drink for Cadgar. Dalaran Dazzler, Karazan Twist, something delightfully sour, something dark and curious. Whatever Caligos is having, Caligos is having water or milk. Goat's milk in a skull mug. Even that's too hardcore for Caligos. Just an ale, please. Whatever you recommend will do. I think we'll go for this. Kritha. I hope he enjoys. Yeah, what have you got, though, for me? All right, you've got your usual stash. Okay, now let, let's deal with some Spriggans. Why don't they die, Marisa? <laughs> right. I see there's no fool in you. Oh. No, Kedgar will work on you later. Back to Marithra.
I'm taking my time with this. I know I can't go back. The dream must be protected. A different enthusiasm. Thank you, Matori. I appreciate your li your liveliness. I appreciate their liveliness, but they're not on my kisses tonight. For a Mirdrasil. Okay. See, I have to feed everyone before I can conclude. Um. Okay, Kelly. I have a job for you. I need to do. Now, pay attention to this one. Because there's been a lot of speculation of when that scene in Dalaran happens. Why can't I find Cadgar? Cadgar, where'd you go? Hey, dude. Hey, my friend. How could I miss him? He's with Thrall. Thrall to here we go. Alright. So I'm gonna put actually I'm even gonna put a marker here. So there's a lot of um discussion on when that scene in um Jalaran happens. Oh, a million people over here. Um And a lot of people think it happens after, like after the the real conclusion of a uh, the conclusion of Dragonflight proper, um, which is you go up the uh, see the aspects, you're like, oh, you're your savior, you know, champion of the Dragonflight, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Happens here. Listen to what he says. We will defend Azeroth together. Kagar frowns at something on the table. Oh, Matore, what is it you need? I have a drink for you from Caligos. Be Hello, champion. I trust you are enjoying this well-deserved moment of celebration. It was heartening to see members of the Alliance and Horde fighting side by side for a shared cause. After the dark days of the Fourth War, I feared it would never happen again. Yet even as we relish the victory over Thurrock and welcome the birth of a new world tree, members of the Kirin Tor have brought me troubling reports. Something is moving in the shadows. An ancient enemy stirs. Incited by some harbinger with whom a Ritikron has dark dealings. How these forces are connected, and what they're after, I cannot say. But I've spoken with an old friend who's going to investigate. If what I suspect is truly coming to pass, Azeroth will soon need you to defend her once again. Ah, enough of my rumination. Please, return to the gathering. And let Kalagos know he doesn't need to worry about me. This is before the alpha. Um, so, it's Illyria. We know that now. <laughs> I suspected it at the time. I was like, who would he send? And then I remembered the uh, the uh, cinematic uh, for, well, Dark Heart. It was actually for the War Within, but I think it's cinematic we see during, we're going to see that tomorrow as well. But um, it's Illyria. He sends Illyria. So it happens here in the storyline. That's at the end of Dragonflight, yes, but there's still like a little bit more afterwards. To wrap up but but yeah Cadgar tells you voice acted and everything this is the it's Illyria but now we can be pretty sure it's Illyria we know who the Harbinger is um though you did know by the time this party happened so just a little extra thought to give ah good to see you and 
can't get him to do it again. Remain so better it. enjoy it. Something new with Cadgar. Not Cadgar, but Caligos. Ugh. It's good to see you again. I'm gonna take this, of course. This this ring that apparently is better than what I have on. I don't know how, but apparently it is. Um, 30, or I could just look at the gold. 36, 38, Actually, this ring is worth more. I'll just get this, doesn't matter. It's piddling. Thank you, friend. I knew he'd speak to you. Maybe now we both can relax. Good luck. Is it, now what does this he say to you? World is full of wonder. Okay. He does have more to say. I still can scarcely believe that my flight, once so scattered, have forged bonds with each other so quickly. Much of that is thanks to you, my friend. The blue dragon flight and myself are forever in your debt. Should you have need of anything, simply ask. May hold you to that. All okay. Will be well. I forgot to talk to these three. Um... Kavi has nothing to say. I'll just make the note again that Void Elves work with Rathian now. Anyway. Right! How you doing? If you're here for him, you're fine by me. If he didn't say thank you, I will. But don't tell him about it. Don't get our guard up. And we have left. What is it? Perhaps he isn't a prince after all. But he's still my priority. You cross the prince, you cross me. He is still calling him one though. Now, time to actually. This is here. Oh, the spear. It's mixed in with the uh, the non-party version of this area. So it's showing me where the spear is. I don't know if I can actually take it from here in this phase. Probably not. I'll have to come back later. Anyway. I could try the food out. Yum, yum, yum. That's the escargot. Let's try iridescent pickled dragon fruit. I'm sparkly. Airy dream greens. I think I have to pick it up later. There's some soup. Big pot. And now I'm huge! Oh yeah. Apparently, party bowl of soup feeling full to bursting. I had to. I mean, part of me is like, I don't want a hand in the quest, but I have to. I don't think I can leave the area. So, I think I've tried everything here. Okay. Do you seek knowledge? Are you ready for another order? I am coordinating all the chef dishes for the evening. So just let me know when you need, need more. Give me the next we order, have please. Been scattered so long. All right. Table served. I'm now going to give everybody food. Just so you know. You don't have to keep going bad to her, you could actually pick them up. But... My wares were made with knowledge.
sometimes they say things. Which is why I'm going to each table, like... Alright, let's, let's give, uh... We need three for them, I know that. Nothing to say, huh? Yeah. But you can keep serving. So we're gonna keep serving. I'm gonna make sure everybody has food. Everybody has food. Come from an Italian background. My duty is to help others. Because they also have things to say. And I want to hear them. Oh, I always love one left. Perfect. Get more food. Everybody's getting food today. No empty tables at my party. Oh, we can't put that on there because Scraps is on that table. I thought they would have something to say about how it smells. Our food. Thank you, that looks amazing. Was it grown here? Oh, they need more food. Let me get you guys some more food. More snacks? Thank you, Victoria. Anything, boss. Anything for you, my friend. Musical. Thank you, Matari. I don't think there are tables left, are there? No. I think I did get everyone, so now I'm just carrying around food. Kanzu doesn't want food. They have food. Oh, no, no, no. I definitely have folks who don't have food. Glory to the Horde. Thank you for the dignified request, friend. Go forth to victory. Nanus calls dibs. Oh, that's a feast to remember. Oh, we got Centaur need more food. Really? Who 
Can something give give This takes me back. Thank you, Matore. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let me give them some food here. What have you dreamed lately? Everybody have food now? Everybody have food? Everybody got food? Everybody got food? Everybody got food? I didn't miss anybody? Did I get Bane food? Bane needs food. Bane's hungry. Okay, fine. None of you are hungry. I don't know if I'm, I'm now giving it to ones that already had it before or not. I've reached that part. It does fade. It does fade. Okay. So here, you guys get you guys get more because you're special. There, look. It's dragon flight. All right. Come here, Marissa. Our flight stands unified once more. So much life and joy resides here beneath these branches. May it always be so. Rest well. My mother asked for all of us to meet her at the moon well. It's been long enough. We should not keep her waiting. Dreams guide you. And here's where you have the option to end Tell me of your dream. The scenario. Are you ready to leave the celebration? Our gathered friends will be departing soon. So be sure to stay say farewell now before we go. Rest it's kind of a reminder, well. like, make sure you talk to everybody. Because you're gonna leave this spot, this whole scenario soon. So. I wish you could go back to this party. I'd say that you can because it's a nice little fun time. And now everybody has joined this, so I'm done. <laughs> Let's what go. What would you ask of me? I'm ready to leave the party. Dreams guide you. So, Tier decide to show up. My question is, did he wait for Viranoth to leave yet or not? Has anyone told Viranoth about this? Because someone should mention to Viranoth, I'm just saying. I have seen much. Kornos. Kornos. Tier created myself and my brethren to watch over these aisles. It was my duty to reactivate the beacon of Tearhold. When the opportunity to re to reawaken Tear arose, I thought it my duty as well. Yet I do not like to see him this way, uncertain, searching. Perhaps I am a watcher no longer. Perhaps now I must serve as a guide. Stay a while and listen. We all have a duty. The world I have returned to bears little resemblance to the one I left, Koronos. Empires have risen and fallen. The old gods are no more. The Dragon Isles have slumbered and awakened. Old friends have died, some of them ignobly, and the ones who remain do not seem to have need of me. Even the aspects regained their powers without my aid, or the Titan's intervention. 
Our circumstances are similar, Kibatir. We were made to serve. I too have fulfilled my purpose. But this new world is vast and wondrous. Perhaps it will be enough for us to just observe and help safeguard it. Hmm. I have much to ponder. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I think we're in regular Bellameth, but yes and no, we're not, because we have another... Our can't talk final to meeting, or our first. I am glad you are here. I love it this one. Don't mind me. Don't mean to barge in. How you doing? What would you ask the daughter of the sea? You know, we never had a celebration after Hyjal. Back then, we had as much to lament as we did to celebrate. Our victory came at such great cost. We were all just weary. What little energy we had left was spent attending to our wounded and moving to our respective homes. I'm glad that this time we could afford to celebrate. Stay a while and listen. I will never forget. Jaina. Kalik. I'm sorry I haven't reached out sooner. Not to worry. You've been more than a little busy. Reuniting your family and serving Kol Tiras as Lord Admiral. What about you? You have your aspectral powers again. And you brought the blues home, Kalik. I know how much that meant to you. I think we both needed to make a journey just not together and that's all right <laughs> it is do you have some time i'd like you to meet some friends of mine but i must warn you they'll probably insist that you try their soup and they like to use eel guts i'm called Tyrion, remember i grew up on eel liver soup it sounds wonderful <laughs> The eel cut soup. Oh. That's pretty much it for that. Um, the way forward will not be easy. We all have our ghosts. Kelly, you're a lot taller than her now. <laughs> Actually, she's shorter than me. She, she doesn't have her... Uh, hero model on right now where everybody's bigger than you Ugh, this is gonna hurt i just want to take a little one last little jog around there really isn't much else to look at it's sad because this scene i think does stay here after the fact i think though you lose calic and jaina and bane and Uzdormu. Definitely this part. I speak for my people. You have to talk to Marithra, but I'm just going over here. Where Ysera is. Time may pass, but the dream is eternal. Hello, champion. I am ready. May your dream... I am so grateful we had this time together. My beloved friends. With the aid of those gathered here, Amir Drissel blossoms all around us. 
Do you remember when you first held its seed in your arms, Tyrande? Of course. I cradled it as I would a child, and promised the souls within to honor their sacrifice. And I swore to you, I would do everything in my power to protect it. We have both kept our vows. It is time I return to Ardenweald to restore the balance and repay a debt to an old friend. Mother, I thought you came back to ensure that I would... My precious child, you are strong, compassionate, and wise. And you have become the leader I knew you would. You did not need me to guide you. Mother, I will always need you. I shall not be far. I am so, so proud of you, my heart. Remember, all time is borrowed, and in this, there is beauty. All is well. Cute a little bit. All right, so let's turn it in. Broccoli drag. Greetings. <laughs> Reputation with the dream words. I'm I'm good, but she's at back so anyway. Uh, as a mirror Dooms to Azeroth beyond the dream. My sister takes on the mantle of a new aspect. Mirdus Alexandra glances at where the portal was and smiles. And you, Matori, have drawn all these events to a happy conclusion. The balance must be maintained. And I think she gives you. Fair skies and strong winds. Um, it has been a long road for us all, Matori, but after the persevering the hardship is tried, Dragonkind stands poised to enter a new age. Before you leave for your next adventure, my fellow Aspects and I wish to thank you for all you have done for us. Speak with Alex Straza at the Sea of the Aspects in Veldraken. From pain, we draw strength. She's going to turn giant and unstomp on me again. Okay. Nope. So now we have Belameth. I'm not gonna go oh. oh, interesting. Where's this a portal to? I think that's a portal to I can't go there. <laughs> yeah, those are areas that are not open to Board. I'm not gonna spend time flying around. Um, Bellameth. I do want to find where Hamul is because being a horde, the first horde character I've brought far it through this far. Um, he's by the temple of. He's by the. Something Terrace of the Moon. There it is. I will eventually learn this area. He's over here. Or I thought he was here. Oh, uh, maybe I have to do the um I have to go to the see the aspects first. Before I do I see that. 
This is kind of like a, it's not fully loaded into a phase. All right. So there's a fast way to get to Valdrakken. Let's do it. Oh, I realize it's after 11 already. I didn't do everything I wanted to do. I did most of what I intended to do. Let me actually check my list of things I meant to do and didn't do because it was all took too long to go down. Um, hmm. Oh, I didn't do trading post. I didn't do trading post. Okay, I will wrap things up at trading post. Um, there's two more things I want to do, but I do want to finish this part up. I wanted to get her celebration. It's only right. Something. I think someone has that toy. So I may actually do the Emberthal, uh, stay while and listen after this, and then I could just switch to Arlea. Ah, and this is the first time you get to see all the aspects and the Neo aspects uh, together. There's a couple of things you have to stay while and listen with uh, Rathi and, and Civilian. Let's go listen to that. Is there something you wish to discuss? Ah, Maturi, it's good to see you. I find myself slipping in and out of daydreams of, as of late, reminiscing on all that has happened since our arrival on the Isles. Perhaps it's because we find ourselves in a rare moment of, res rare, rare moment of respite. Or maybe I'm enthralled by the stunning view from atop this landing. Matthew whispers to conceal his words from civilians. <laughs> or even, dare I say it, thanks to the welcome sight of the Bisson standing beside the other aspects. Stay a while and listen. Rathian, Abyssian mentioned that you will soon depart from the Isles. I didn't take you as one who engaged in gossip, Sibelian. Hmm. <laughs> Does he speak true? He does. Eridicron may be lying low, but he still poses a significant threat to Azeroth. I will coordinate the Black Talon's efforts to track him down. Even Eridicron can't evade them forever. Indeed. I must admit, your agents have impressed me far more than I expected. With rare exception, I never placed much stock in mortals beforehand. You have quite the way with their kind. I suppose I do. My time in the Dragon Isles was a grand adventure, but not the homecoming I'd hoped for. I've often felt that I share more in common with mortals than with dragons, and feared that I belong among neither. I thought that here, in the land of my ancestors, I'd find something I was lacking, that by becoming an aspect I could prove who and what I truly am. If not to the world, then... At least to myself. But I see now that I never had anything to prove. My place is among both mortals and dragons. That is my strength, not my failing. It's who I am. Who I've always been. Well said. You walk a path I never could, Rathian. Take pride in it. And... Should that path lead you back to the Dragon Isles? I hope it does feel like a homecoming. <laughs> we shall see. Thank you, brother. Voice acting is so good there. Um, let's see. So we know he's leaving to follow for uh, Redicon. Just make notes on this.
There's a black talon after them. I wonder, um, uh, Kavya, who's the, she, she's had some, she's had like voice spoken lines and, and a little bit more. I don't remember her from previous expansions as a black child, so she's fairly new, but she was commanding troops, uh, at points. She's a void elf, so I'm just wondering if she's going to tie in somehow. I don't even know if we'll even see anything. <laughs> like, oh. With all the hearing stuff with Azeroth and the fact that the one flight that, well, several of them could be in tune with that, but stuff coming from below. And we have a black dragon flight here and they're not thinking it's, I don't know. We'll see. It's got to tie in somehow if a Riddicron is a... Uh, if Rathian's going after Riddicron, there's got to be a tie-in somehow. All right, let's 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 conclude this game proper. Well, wait, we're not completely done yet. Let's speak to uh, Abyssi. Abyssi doesn't want to talk to us. It's okay, that's cool. Um, no storm, I know for a fact, doesn't change what he says. As much as I would like to enjoy this victory, I cannot. The moment I fear draws even clo ever closer. Yeah, the victory was Another not victory. what just happened. <laughs> It wasn't against Farak. I think it was against Razageth. Um, Kalagos. I stand with you. Our troubles may be far from over, but for the first time since my since the primal incarnates were released, my heart warms with hope that we will succeed. My fight is not my only. My flight is not my only family friend. The aspects. Okay. All right. This he said. This is he was saying before. Um, as well as long, as long has been long since we did come come together like this. I missed it. Thank you for all you have done. If it was not clear by now, I consider you part of my family as well. Stay a while and listen, which we will definitely. Fly true. Impeccable timing, champion. Cadgar should be arriving shortly. My ears are burning, Gallic. To what do I owe the honor? Bittersweet news, I'm afraid. Khadgar, I... I have chosen to step down from the Council of Six. My duties as Aspect must take precedence. I'm needed in Valdraken far more than in Dalaran. Is that all? Forgive me, but that hardly comes as a surprise. I suspected as much when you asked to speak with me. So... You do not think ill of me for relinquishing my position? There is the thought. Your family comes first, Kallik. I could never fault you for that. Though, I do have a request to make of you. The artifact a Rivikron took from the Forbidden Reach. The one he handed over to this mysterious harbinger. Dalaran's libraries hold precious little information on it. Given Malagos's history with Melfarian, You hope that I might have better luck scouring the Azure Archives. Consider it done, old friend. I will share all the information I can find. Thank you, Kallik. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? The Kirin Tor and the Aspect of Magic working hand in hand. It's a new age, one we will face together. Us, the Council, and whoever replaces me. Rest assured, we will fill your vacant seat. But no one could ever replace you. Farewell for now, Caligos. Be it here, Dalaran, or Karazhan. I look forward to our next reunion. And you can still listen to that now. Um, we're gonna go talk to Viranoth. I I love how her little little front paws are across like that. She's so big. Aspect of storms. A title I chose myself for many reasons. Blessed by Azeroth, a world's primal fury now courses through me, relentless as a hailstorm. Howling with frozen winds, I stand. Oops. 
Sorry. I stand as well for the Thorignir and the Netherwing and the storms they call home. And finally, I sought to honor my fallen sister one final time, Rasketh, Storm Eater, who gave me the gift of freedom, one I would share with all dragonkind. I love Viranoff. She does have something else to say after, but I think I have to go through this scene first. Um, Captain Drawing, you got anything? Order. Yes. It's nothing new. Report back. Tarnus? In the footsteps of Tia. Trust okay. me. That doesn't change. Abyssian looks amazing. So does um, Arthra. I love I love the twisty vine horns. Okay, Alex Chazel, let's do this. What is it you seek? She doesn't really say anything new there, but yeah. My friend. We have asked you here this day to offer our thanks. When we dragons returned to our homeland, we were a kingdom divided. Old wounds and bitter memories had fractured our unity. But thanks to you and all those who stood with us, we have found our way to a better future. We realized that the mistakes of our past need not define us. That we should not fear the unknown. That we could embrace our family while building a new legacy for our flights. A legacy that includes all dragon kind. In recognition of everything you have done. We proclaim you champion of the dragon flights. I will listen. The red dragon flight will protect this world. Place beneath the bows. Thanks to you and all the mortals who defended the Emerald Dream, a new world tree now grows in the Dragon Isles. A Mirdrasil spouse will be the haven of peace and tranquility and a place of respite for the Caldari souls now lost to Teldrassil. Caldari souls lost to Teldrassil. Turn to Whisperin and Chandra's the Moon where are at the tree now. They would share words with you. Get there in a second. Meet Turanda and Chandra's in a Mirdrasil. Safeguard. Varanoth now has something to say. Yeah. Siblings until the end. Matori, lest you rest too long on your laurels, I bet dire news. Some time ago I received an unexpected summons from a Riddicron. Though I informed Alexstrasza, my erstwhile brother made it clear that I was to revive alone, and so I did. You will want to hear what he had to say. Speak with Viranov. I had received a missive from Eridacron. He wished to speak with me, and me alone. It seems your courage has not faltered, despite abandoning our war. That war is over, Eridicron! It was you who abandoned our cause, who abandoned Farak to his own destruction. All for some trinket Neltharion left behind. The Dark Heart is no mere trinket. 
now lies in the Harbinger's hands. The Void cannot be trusted. I trust its hunger. You know the Titans infected our world. And I will see them extinguished. The question is, sister, will you? I will have no part of this. Then the bond of the incarnates is truly ended. You will not see me again until the Titans face their reckoning. But to you, Viranath, I offer one final warning. Stay out of my way. No relevant stuff. view from here has given me more perspective than I originally imagined. I know not what the Riddicon intends to do next, but I can no longer call him brother. So we will fly to Bellarmouth. This, this is going to be a late one. It's later than I thought it would be. It took me a long time to kill this off. Oh, what was that? Looks like I... You earned the title Machori Champion of the Dragonflights. Okay. I know that. And then you stay up here and you can do the stay a while unless you can't watch the video with her again, but it's... It's still... So let's go to Bellameth. Shall we begin? Goddess, watch over you. I already have these, but it's okay. Um, there's a time of reflection and change, Matori, for the world and for my people. My mother and I have been discussing the roads that led us here. And where those roads will lead in the years to come. Come, let us speak. Speak a gender to the moon. Nature will heal. I am listening. On your mark. Such beauty. Such tranquility. More Kaldori settle here every day. After so many years of strife, Bellameth offers rest and comfort. This village welcomes all who wish to dwell here. But it shall not be our only home. Hyja, Valshara, Ashenvale. These are sacred places to us. We shall protect them forevermore. And one day, when life blossoms again upon its ashen shores, we will return to Teldrassil and build anew.
<sighs> feels. They don't want to talk to me. If I never miss a shot. My father has returned to us at last. Tread care, father. We have so much to tell you. As I slumbered within Ardenview, Yusera let me dream through her eyes. I saw the courage you showed defending Amir Drasil. I am so proud of you both. And of all the heroes of Azeroth who joined together for this cause. Though we will never forget the past, it is time to look forward. Our people will be pleased to have both of you leading them into that future. No, my beloved daughter. I think we will tarry here in Belenath a while. I believe we have earned some time alone together. That we have, my love. But our people need... They have all they need in you, child. You have grown into a wise leader, Chandras. Within you beats the heart of the Kaldori people. Trust your instincts. And if you have need of us, you know where we will be. Thank you for your faith in me, for everything. Now come. I want to show you a spot. That would be perfect for our home. I do hope there is room for a garden 